Right, guys, welcome back to some more Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Hope you are all alright. Now, our last video was a little bit of a long one. But uh, we found the puppeteer in the mines, which was a little bit crazy. And we ended up banishing Captain Pennington for everything that he did. Um, mm, why is that locked? Have we got a fast travel back to... Oh, answered my question for us. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. Right, here we are then, back at Ceridian's Island, so... This isn't good. Uneasy. Me too. Oh. Oh, because we got that new power, didn't we? If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. And tear me and snare the core of a creeping ivy to restrain it. What? I have no idea why that has just taken me so long to figure out what I was doing there. And snare fours. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. There's our little crow friend. Nobody's home. I can feel it. Who there? Where could they be? Oh, very strange. Find Ceridian. Can't get up there. I'm stuck. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. I've just done something wrong there. Oh, 
picked. Oh, I just had to be quick enough. Crows. They flock to that great tree up there. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker <sighs> doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her for me. Too late, old moss head, as ever. Time to fight all Saul. Oh, let's see what you got, big guy. There's a tough one. Soldiers, bring me Shit. Try that new ability. Until so good. Oh, 
doing some damage here. Devil take it. Let's go. Ariadna's thread. Hmm. Old Mossad is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You're all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now. Hmm. I feel like so much has happened in the first, like, 15 minutes of this video. Rest at Island Shelter. I am tired of all this death. Want to talk about it? I will do. I'm curious to go and see uh, what was over here that we knocked down. What was this hiding? Oh, some sort of... Oh, it's one of them things.
There we go. Ultra the invisible. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is just where we were before. What will become of Seiko now? She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. Mm. Or she'll try to kill it. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, what I had done, I just wanted the pain to stop. Wanted oblivion. You were at your lowest. We all lived through our own rock bottoms. You pulled yourself through. I drowned myself in ale. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I feel lost. I can't even stand myself. I can barely stand it. Look at you. Something eats me from within and it's growing I don't know what's happening I'm scared I scare me too I am untethered from the world but through you I still feel like myself I cling to this the closer we get to my return the further from life I feel I care nothing for the living I only care for what I can take from them. Do you feel that way about me too? No, of course not. What are we doing? We're reclaiming our world. The only way we can. Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power, purpose. She had love, and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. Ah, oh, so we get a second chance to... So you do actually have a chance to change your mind in the story. But I'm just going to go with what we've been going with. There's no point changing it now for me. I feel like this is... We've we've already committed and we've, we've already killed people. So I don't know. It's just... Stick with it. I want this. I want this, only real. I want to be with you in the flesh. Our minds are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back.
Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. Dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? Uh, new haunting cases have manifested in New Eden. Once you leave the shelter, open your map. Right, well... I was going to say, I'm guessing, go to the Harrows. So we went up to Fort Jericho. Now we need to go down to here. So let's finish this quest off. Right, go to the Harrows. So yeah, we went that way. And now we need to go this way. Down over. I wonder what awaits us next. Won't be easy. We've lost an ally and a friend. And the nightmare is all around. Oh, I dread to think what awaits us next. I'm not going to lie. These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Oh shit. We got company. Hugging all the fun. Spectral nest. I better command them to show themselves. Well, might as well go for it. Reinforcements. I have another insight. Watch out. Spectre position. No, no. I think we've hit a nerve. Not today. Tormented first. Come here, you. Change targets. Tormented first. You're strong enough. Shit! 
Oh, come on! Right, time for this one again. This bike's not easily chewed. No, no you don't. Not this time, bitch. I can help. There we go. Oh, I was so close to doing it the first time the last one as well. Never mind. Oh, did I miss that? Wait, is that actually it? Oh, it is. Damn. Can't reach it from here. Devil take it! Ah, there's that quest done, right? So what have we got now? Witch finders. Um, right. Over there, a dock. An underground landing. Interesting. Do you know what? I'm just thinking while we've got the time, I'm going to go back. We're going to go and do some haunting cases and stuff. We're going to go and do some side stuff. We don't normally get a quest that only takes half an hour to do. So while we've got the time, we'll go and do some side stuff. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll start the next video off like in that cave or something. Or I'll start it close. Just so you don't have to see us run all the way from the campfire. Um, right, so we need to go back here and then we'll go, we'll go and do some haunting cases because... I definitely want to get through them. Could you imagine if I couldn't even get back? That would be so funny. I think that's just a dead end. There is a... Thing there, but I'm not going to run and get that. Oh, that's what was making that noise. And I can't shoot it. How great is that? Uh, no idea. Right. Nearly there. Oh, what? What are you doing here? I'm right here, you know. Alright, that definitely wasn't in the script. Right, let's have a look at our map before we start travelling. 
so. Got Haunting Case back at... I'll tell you what, we might as well do these two first that are closer to this side of the map. Then we can... Bloody hell. There's... Jeez, there's six. Is that six? There's three there. Yeah. Holy shit. Right. Well, what we'll do is try and do these two maybe in this video. I always do that. I press X and highlight it. Right. I'm wondering if these cases are available now, maybe, because we've got the abilities to... To maybe get to areas that we couldn't previously or something, maybe. Aha. That rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. Since the ripple of a past conversation. There we are. Is up, sir. Don't. Oh. Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute and put us out of work? I just pressed the wrong button. I was meant, yeah, I was meant to do that. I'd almost welcome the change at this point. Come on, the body would have floated downstream. Follow the riverbank to find the body. Uh, oh, this way. Watch out. Spectre position. No, you don't. Oh, shit. You'll get it next time. Get the hell out of there. Right, search the area. There's been a murder. I if we can get over here. Is this still part of the search area? Yes, it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, you look quite sinister. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, Red. Uh, tough now, are you? Oh, I did not like that. Wait, we've missed something on the other bank. All right. So we need to go back. Voices for... We may have found our victim. A very broken strong box. Empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money. And it's gone. Who's there? Help me! Help me, please! I know you! You're the Scudder boy! Help me up! Help me up there! C come, boy! There's blood, but I'm not so badly hurt! I'm... What are you doing? Put that blade away, boy! No! 
The rock didn't kill him, nor the water. The scudder boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. I was trying to say what's up here. I know this is going to be out of the area, but... It says the fire's here. Is this like a, another way back? Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Oh, is that a chest over there? Right, we will go back down. <clears throat> right, let's go and check the other bank then. She said there was something on the other side, on here. Now, how do I get over that other side? Oh, just as simple as getting under this tree, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it literally is as simple as that. What? Post is received in New Eden Town to be delivered to addresses likely in and around Fort Jericho. Letters for Fort Jericho. If the victim was only passing through, how did the killer know what he was carrying? A dead messenger. A missing payroll. And a single name. We know two scudders, don't we? We do. And one of them isn't the sharpest knife in the bag. No pun intended. What, uh, what house is it talking about? Ah, oh, 567 metres away. Oh, oh nice. It's actually back where the other... Where the other haunting case is. So hopefully if we could finish up over there, that would be perfect. Let's hope so. Investigate the Scudder boy. Alright, oh, there's just another way back here. Oh well, that's nice. Helpful. Alright. I've done it again. X all the time. Right, now where's Scudder? Here's the problem. I can't remember what Scudder looked like. Or where he would be. at you. Back again, Mr. McRaith? What can I do for you this time? No, it's not you. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Goodbye to you too, Mr. McRaith. I'm looking for beloved Scudder. It says investigate the house as well. I don't know which house it's on about. Locked, it must not be that one. I think that's going out of camp.
Nope. It's not you. <sighs> this would be a better book if it had pictures in. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Good day to you, Mr. McRaith. Your lordship, sir. Oh, there once more, Pigmas. The boy is shrouded in spectral stains. There's a ghost at work here. How are things going around here, Credence? Well, you're asking me. That's so great. I don't know anything, but... How fares the camp by your measure? Kate says we're to bury the dead and prepare to leave. I miss thick skin, sir. I do. What did you think of Thick Skin Newsmith? Oh, she was very brave, sir. The bravest. She saved us all. Twice. I'm sure you did everything you could to save her. No one blames you. Probably. Kate leads the camp now. How do you think she's doing? Well, she tries her best. But it's not the same. She can't protect us like Thick Skin did. We all know it. Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What do you do? What do I do? Oh, I don't know. Whatever I can. Can't do much, I suppose. I'm happier, though. As long as I'm not in them woods. Not without beloved, leastways. Mr. Scudder, I suspect a haunting. A haunting? Like a ghost, as him, right here. That's terrible. But who could have... You don't think beloved is... Can't be. It just can't be. It's not beloved, is it? Did my cousin die? Your cousin is fine, I think. For now. Oh, good. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes, yes, of course. If you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. Well, at least we found him. He didn't imagine he could be haunted. The apple rots by the tree. To beloved Scudder in New Eden. So unless you hear it elsewhere, I tell you I have killed a man. I sworn I never would, but the anger took me, and afore I knew it, the deed were done. If the catch balls take me, I shall hang. Beloved's father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Beloved Scudder's journal. My father is a bad man, but he saw the good in me. Beloved fears himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. He probably will. The apple falls close to the tree. There's nothing more to find here. You flying Scots busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says, and thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. You're haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. I've seen your work. I've seen the bodies. Take your investigation and get out of my house. No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. 
<laughs> Your father's son. You must worry you'll repeat his many mistakes. How do you know? What... Leave me be! You can't do this to us! From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please! Go! Enough! <gasps> what foul retribution is this? Son... Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look, to credence. In your letter, you said you were coming to New Eden. You made it, sort of. What happened? <sighs> I had passage booked to Boston. A captain who asked no questions. And a ship's cook who needed the reward money. The catch poles took me at the dock. Ten days later, they took me up to Gallows Acre. And there I was hanged. For murder? Yeah, for murder, yeah. And all the rest. Why? Why'd you do it? You ever been to London, Scotsman? Aye, I have. Then you've seen how the people live. The toffs, I mean. Them as has money. How do you think they come by? With their wars, and their taxes, and their sheriffs, and their bailiffs, that's how. They kill for gain. Why should I be different? What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers all were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. So you're here to protect Beloved? Protect him from what? From corruption. From perdition. From my blood that runs in his veins. But most, most of all, I must protect him from corruption by his wily cousin, Credence. It takes a bad and to catch a bad, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid. West of here, on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole, west, got it. What of Credence? Why do you believe him bad? He was a hellion as a baby. And no mistake, especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. He seems harmless enough. Simple, I dare say. No one must trust an idiot. He chose to look like one, and he's fooling all of you. Beloved needs no snake to lead him astray. I'll cut their bonds and set the boy aright. Are you sure Credence is guilty? 
It seems far-fetched. I have watched him on his own, unseen. I know about him, for I am one of them, and I tell you with no doubt, so is he. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then, make our own minds up. I speak the truth, you'll see it. Hmm. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. And Jed's ghost is at once benign and hostile. Getting interesting. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? You tell me. Why would the ghost of your criminal father appear now? Why would he blame Credence? You're the Banisher. You ask him. Better yet, you send him away. How do you feel? Your father's death and all. I'm feeling good. No thanks for asking. He's dead, and soon, if you do your job, he'll be gone. Tell me about him. Tell me about your father. What's to tell? Jed was a scoundrel his whole live-long life. He was a scoundrel, and he sent us away. Me, my pregnant mum, and Credence too. Jed was meant to follow. But he never did. To hell with him. How did you and Credence end up together? He's lived with us since his mother died. Came over on the boat. A new start for everyone. You know? Then my own mum died. And it was just us. It's been just us for years now. Credence had it rough as a kid. But he's no trouble. Credence is better than you think. Better than anyone thinks. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. Leave Credence be. My cousin didn't. He's not. Look, if there's bad blood, it is mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter? If badness is in his blood, do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... We... It, in my dreams, I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. I wish to think of him no more. Forget it! Forget the whole thing! I will, if I can. Investigate Credence's hide. Strange that Beloved talked of the drowning, but not the stabbing. Either way, he fears he is a killer like his father. Perhaps it's not too late. He may yet avoid his father's fate. Well then, we'll find Credence's forest hiding hall and learn what's what. Said it before, but sometimes the compass is really confusing. Shall we? I've not missed the words, but this is quite nice. Home lies where the heart lies. That's our other one. But probably won't have time to do that one in this video. Finish this one off, though. This apple rocks by the tree. There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence's hide, perhaps. Oh, we've been here before. Because we've fought some enemies here. Exactly where these ones have came. That's they were wolves last course, time, if I can remember rightly. Run, Red! Ah! 
Nice. Sit down. Yeah, we couldn't get in here before. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit, am I dead? Hundred percent thought I was dead there. Watch out, we made it angry. You. Couldn't we not get in before? Because we needed a key. Or well, maybe not. Must have been for this specific quest that it was needed to... Page 1. Province of Massachusetts Beer. Office of the Governor Sir William Phipps. Phipps? So, this is telling them that their dad's going to be hanged. Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. What, is there something else to discover in here, or...? Nice view. It covers all the main approaches. Ah. Oh. Look right there, behind us. I started to think Jed Scudder had made it up. Business plan. Sugar plantation in the West Indies. A plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? An essay concerning humane understanding. Quite the library for a man who can't read. We've learned <laughs> enough. Confront the scudders. Jed was right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. Yeah. And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the scuttled boys. Hmm. You put an end to this.
They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. We must confess. Beg for mercy. I will not hang. I can't carry the burden. <laughs> you can. And you will. Soon we'll put it behind us. New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed the man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No. What the? <gasps> Jed, no one move, including you, Jed. Thank you. God, you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either. Until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not gonna take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence, the Scudder boy. The Scudder boy plays the fool, plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies, and the postman passed with a payroll. You took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you gonna do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Anything to say in your defense, beloved? I didn't know. I, I, I swear I didn't know. My arse. He hit the messenger with a rock. He did it. You knew what you were doing. You wanted a way. You wanted the payroll. Right in hell. You, you used me! I shall rise above them, a great and wealthy man. My cousin by my side. Please, we used each other. Jedediah, you wish to prevent your son from meeting his father's fate. But by haunting him, in time, your love will kill him. I am here for credence. My boy is good. I don't care either way. He did what he did. He must accept the consequences. Might teach him some humility. His father clearly loves him, for whatever that's worth. Spare my boy! Punish his cousin! Whatever we choose, I doubt you'll like all of it. Maybe you won't like any of it. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Oh. Well, we're not doing either of them because they're the ascent options. Um. I'm blaming Credence. Credence Scudder, a malignant manipulator. You killed a man in cold blood and tried to lay the murder on your cousin. With the least of your many mischiefs, you brought the tormented soul of an anguished father back from the dead. Sir, please, please, sir, I beg of you. Bah! That soft shite will work on me no more. 
Time to cut the bad from you. See what's left. This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. Never get tired of seeing Dad, that. You've killed him. What is wrong with you? Get out of my house, murderer. No. Leave him to his grief. It's a bad day to be beloved Scudder. Well, it's pretty good timing. Let's get back to the shelter. Right, guys, so let's see how we're looking. So, we've obviously got our main quest there, Witchfinders, which is down here in the Harrows. Um, we're not actually that far away from New Eden Town when you look at it now. Um, so... Depending on how long this quest is, or in the next video, we could start here and do this home lies where the heart lies, and then go and do this. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. And then obviously, eventually, I'd, I would like to go and do all these, but it depends what you guys want to see. If you want to see me just keep going like one main story per video, or if you just wanted one video where I did a couple of these, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But, um,. No, I'm really, really enjoying this game. It's so, so good. We've got another activity here, Investigate the Valley. So there's a lot to do. I mean, look at the world completion. We're literally only at 21%. And I've been playing this game now for... It must be nearly 15 hours. It must be. And that's twenty. That's a, nearly a quarter of the way there. So to 100% this game could easily be about 50, 60 hours. So... Definitely getting your money's worth. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for now. So if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new around here, it'd really help us out a lot. But other than that, I hope wherever you all are, you are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.